everybody and welcome back to Left on Red with me, Julie Haynes. And me, Brenda Dennehy. We are so grateful for each and every one of you for sticking by us since we started just probably before Christmas. And um, we did have a couple of teething problems the last couple of weeks. We watched. Like the sound and I don't know how you carried <gasps> on listening to us but you did and now we are here. Yeah and we some amazing news. We signed with Go Loud, the home of Irish podcasting. If there's a good podcast out there, it's certainly on Go Loud. We are absolutely thrilled we've been given an amazing opportunity opportunity so we're going to do the podcast weekly we are here in Dublin in a studio I came over from London this morning and the guys came up from Cork even though I was actually here before them um, <laughs> I came from a different country but then actually they landed in the studio before me but anyway I'm over it but yeah so we are so excited we're still going to do it weekly <clears throat> I plan on coming over every week and Julie and Owen are going to come up once a week as well yeah. and we have an amazing producer as well Siobhan Walsh who's going to be guide us and tell us anything we're doing wrong. Exactly. And that's it. And it's great that we're in the studio together, Brenda. Yeah. Um, week to be seeing you every week. Yeah. And as you said, you came over from London, you were here before us and it was actually cheaper for you to get over cheaper. from London. I got flights for like 50 euros. Gatwick Express and was like 28 pounds. So it's near around 70. So you paid 50 euro to travel from London to Dublin. I paid 72 euro <laughs> for the train from Cork to Dublin. I was staying in the same country. Yeah. Like, I just think that is just mind blown. Yeah. Mind blow- and you wouldn't mind after us paying 72 <laughs> euro each. What do we do this morning? Miss the fucking train. How did you miss it? Oh. First of all, because every road in Cork is closed due to roadworks. Yeah. So I was being diverted here, there and everywhere. And then I obviously went and got a snaky old blow dry. Made it to that appointment. Came out, was trying to get over to the train station. Every road in the city was closed and missed it by three minutes. That's funny then because I had a hair appointment booked here for half twelve. Of course, I had the baseball hat and everything on. Yeah. So I was like, I had to get the hair done now before this. So I was sitting down just before we were about to board and I heard someone going, we're an hour delayed. And I, the first thing I thought now was like, I fucking blow dried half twelve. <laughs> And then we were, I was like, okay, we all like, you know, Ryanair now, they were like, get on the plane, like priority, we were boarding. There was people getting off and we were just getting on, you know, the way they are. Yeah. Then we were just about to land, you know, me now on flying in Dublin and then it was just going down. And then on the way back up, I was like, oh my God, we're dying. And then yeah. what about my, what about my <laughs> blow dry? So then I think we had to scoot around uh, twice to get a landing. I don't know if there was someone on the runway or something like that, but I was like, kept looking at my watch. Was there like, like running around the runway? Well, there was a plane and it wouldn't get off or something. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah, so I know the blow dry, but then of course... I was like, there's definitely something going to happen because I do do the blessing myself. I told you yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't do because there was too many young fellas yeah, near me. Oh, no. And I did put the hand slowly up in the forehead and kind of moved it down yeah. my body, like not to show I was doing it. Yeah. But then I couldn't do it. But listen, we landed, pissing rain anyway, came home. The bus outside the express, I've never done the bus into the city or anything like that. Express, express could have been going to Belfast and even look at the yeah, front. Yeah, yeah. Just got on it, hope for the best. And everything worked out uh, great. Good, 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 yeah. And we're here and we're excited. Like Julie, the audio of some of the podcasts, I mean... <sighs> We're like we do. I wouldn't even listen to myself. No. I was giving myself the fucking ick. I was like, nah. I was out walking. I to turn myself off. It's, I was like, no. Nope. And it's bad enough even hearing yourself. Yeah. But yeah. then these kind of remember when the Zoom I'd chat and you chat and I'd pause and then I, then I would lose a couple of words so my yeah. sentences weren't finishing. So it was like, what did she just say? She never finished the sentence, yeah. even though I did. But Zoom and the the mic didn't pick me up and it was yeah. just we were all over the place. But look, we only started. We're only going since Christmas. We're here now. Yeah. We're being signed by Go Loud and it's a new chapter. Yeah, it's very, it's very exciting. exciting. I feel great looking at you. As in like, I, I like this. I like this as well. It's way better than the computer, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? So much better. Like, And we're not freezing and we're not, you know, yeah. it's not it's not freezing on us. So it's great that we're in person. Yeah. You know? yeah. You know? We haven't done a podcast in like two weeks or so. How's things been with you? And I haven't really spoken to you an awful lot because we can leave a lot of it for until the further pod. Yeah. So... Good, like, um, I've nobody like, huge drama. I didn't go on a date or anything. Like, did you go on a date or anything? Didn't go on a date. Was he texting her back? Mm-hmm. Well, what happened was with the actor fella, right? So the last one was I'd gone on the date with yeah. him and uh, yeah, we went to Soho House and then after that he was texting me mad and all that. And then we were texting slowly back and over and oh, he was telling me, oh, I'm so sorry. He, he's all these words. I'm so sorry, beautiful. I'm so sorry, beautiful. Habibi's another one. It means Arabic, my darling. I'd say he uses the line on everyone, right? Yeah. So I was Googling, what's Habibi? You should text him back. All right, Google. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll think of some. So I'll think of some Irish oh, word that doesn't. That, that, yeah. like, that means gorgeous. That means gorgeous. That, that means. I remember telling Americans before. Oh, Pogue Mahone means yeah. like, you look great. You and look they're like, oh, Pogue Mahone. <laughs> you fucking cop. So yeah. um, he's a bit slow on the texting. Not that I want someone now texting me all the time, mm-hmm. right? Because if they're texting too much, then you know me, I get the ick. We're never happy. Where just like, slow, we're like, Hurry I'm on, like, lad. would you would you just get lost, right? Mm-hmm. Or if they double text. Actually, do you know what happened to me yesterday? You know the way before you do. Um, Oh, sorry, that wasn't for you message. I got one of them off some lead. Oh. I did obviously looking for money off me or something <laughs> on Facebook. And then, and I was like, why would I give you money? It was like for some trip. Yeah. And he was like, Saz wasn't for you. But like, I'm open, I can just see it. Yeah. But I got one of them. I'm like, that was for me. Yeah. It was mortified now. Yeah. I've done that before to men as well. But obviously it's okay if it's me. So on we were anyway. He told me one evening, I'm going to ring you later on. Everything's all over the place. Everything is crazy. I'll ring you my Habibi, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And when they say the Habibi, I was kind of like, all right, so. Yeah. So he didn't ring. And I was like, I was working actually nights. And I said, oh, ring me. What's up? Never rang. And right? he texts back. Then he texts the next day. go, I'm so sorry. I'm so busy. Now, he does sound like a right fraud. Should we fraud or rather than fouda? <laughs> Um, and I was like, every time he comes back in, yeah. I'm kind of like, you know better, you know better, girl. Yeah. So then I tried to ring him back at a missed call again. And then he was like, you're in the diary. You're in the diary. He goes on about this oh, diary. I drive him on. Like, like it's the Bible. But yeah. you know me for making plans as well. Yeah, Julie, very like, if, if it's yeah. written down, I'll do it. I don't leave people down. So this was on a Thursday. Yeah. Remember I was speaking to you last Tuesday? Yeah. I had heard nothing. He hadn't even opened my message. My message was, well, how's things? What's the news? Thursday evening, right? Thursday evening, two weeks ago. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you know, at the start, you've got a bit of a pain in your head. You're like, what an arsehole and all this kind of stuff. Oh my God. And then as soon as time goes on, you start really forgetting about them. Yeah. Right? You yeah. start You're really like, forgetting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So on Tuesday, we were speaking because we were after having the meeting. We'd go loud. Yeah. And you were like, well, what's the story? And I told you. And then we had ghosted. I was getting ready for work that evening again. Around six o'clock, I seen his name come up on my phone. And he's a little gun yeah. emoji because, you know, he was a terrorist. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was looking at the gun emoji and I started roaring, laughing like, oh my God, I can't believe he's ringing me. But I didn't want to answer. I was like, he yeah. can feck off. No, I was like, I'm not answering him. I'm not answering him, even though I wanted to answer him. But I was like, you've no right to be really annoyed with him. Yeah, I okay? know, I know, I know, I know. So anyway, I the, he rang again and I ignored him. And then I said, look, I'll ring him because I was going to get time off work. I told him inside work. I said, I'm just making a part phone call there. Yeah. So I rang and I was totally cool. And I was like, hi. And he was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, Brenda. I'm so sorry. Things are just all over the place. They're chaotic, blah, blah, blah. And all this crap, right? And I'm like, oh yeah, that's grand. I didn't even notice, right? Yeah, yeah. In the I meantime, I didn't even like, notice. Yeah, yeah, I well, know. I wasn't crying, but I, I had more of a headache. Yeah. So anyway, again, he went on saying, things are crazy. I really actually do like you, he said. And I goes, all right. He goes, no, I actually really do. I think you're really cool. And I love Irish people. And da, da, da. He was telling me all this. And then he said, I have to go to Israel for a, an audition again. And I was like, all right, OK. And then he said, can I meet you for a coffee? And I was like, well, I'm working nights, so I don't have time. He goes, I'll see you when I get back. So I was like, he's not going to know Israel. So then there was big stories in the news about Israel. Yeah. And I had to, I was working on those stories on the BBC. And I just texted him going, oh, my God, look at the story I got of all things, you know. And he sent me on his location. He was actually in Israel, Right. But then I did text and he didn't text back again. So what he's doing is, right, he ghosted me, but then he came back. And I said to myself last night, and girls will understand this, love bombing me. I don't know if you know what love bombing is. Never really I've heard of it. Oh my gosh, Siobhan, you probably know what love bombing is. They, It's exactly that. You're forgetting about them. You're like moving on and all this yeah. kind of stuff. But then they come on. They're like, I really like you and all this and I really yeah. want to see you again. So he's kind of drifting out of my head now. But I, I know in a few days he'll be back to love bomb. Yeah. Check it out. If there are any girls listening to a good, really good friend of mine as well, she gets love bombed all the time. I get love bombed But I wonder, does, does fellas know what they're doing? Like I would understand like playing games and stuff but do fellas really play games? This fella like God forbid if when he win it's going to, going to be a win when he hears his podcast he, like he does knows Does he know that you have a podcast? Or does he know about your social media account or anything oh, like that? Oh he's still blocked on that and my account is on private I don't know podcast? He's barely on Instagram He's never on it Yeah There's nothing up there yeah. And I go on the dog's account every so often to check Yeah Because if you're blocked someone you can't check Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So Winston's curving around the page <laughs> Yeah yeah uh, I did like one the other night I saw it liked by Walkies with Winston I was like fuck sake get that off Yeah Um. So he's love bombing me 
he's a nice guy. He's really nice. I appreciate that he's really busy with work. And like he sent me on his location, you know, and do you can do that in WhatsApp and like you can't fake that. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So it's like he is in Israel. But what but it what's is... What's he doing out there, like? An audition. He's in this show and he's oh, after yeah, telling... Yeah. Oh, this is the thing then. He said, oh, I'll tell you I'm really busy. There's another audition I might have. And he goes, like, don't tell anyone the film that it is. I goes, sure, I haven't told anyone about you. <laughs> <laughs> Only fucking thousands of people listening to us. <laughs> and he goes, I know that. I know that beautiful, right? And I was there. I've known, and I was there going, oh my God, if only this lad knew. But like, I haven't told, I've given away his name. But he's love bombing me and I just don't know what to do. So I want listeners to either get on to us on our Left on Red Pod 22 Instagram page or else our email left on red pod 22 at gmail.com because this is a massive thing. It like it goes to either, it's two extremes with me, right? Either ghost me, which is totally gone, or else come back and bomb. Yeah, I know, I An know. Explosion. And explosion. Make me want them more. That's my yes. problem. And then you're reeled back in yeah. so bad. And you know, I was just this time last week, I was kind of forgetting Forget about, about it. it. And yeah. then it was like, he, he reeled me back yeah, in. Yeah, they do that though. I have this fella right like that. And like, we'd be ch- texting away for a couple of days. And then next thing, all of a sudden... Gone? Nothing? Is that, is, is that the same fella? No, it's another fucking fella. Oh, right. Yeah, so, uh, but we're texting months and months and months. And like that now, texting for a couple of days and he'd stop for three weeks and he's back again. And I'm like, will I bother texting back? But then I'm like, Julie, like, get a grip. Like, I'm not playing games anymore. But I wonder now, is this fella fucking love bombing me or whatever you're calling it? Yeah. Not? But then I was like, can, do, does fellas really play games? They must. Jewel, they do. You know that page I told you about and I think you said that it was an Irish one as well. Are we dating the same I think guy? I, yeah. I'm on that page all the time. No, I do think girls in it are telling lies to other girls. Yeah, just, cause, yeah, because girls are bitches then as well. Any like, yeah. fella someone puts up, right? I'll see John and Bumble, me and John are getting on. I put up John's picture on this private forum and then I write, oh, I'm starting to see John, we're taking it to the next level, any tea on him. And all these girls chime in and they're saying, this, oh yeah, there was one last yeah. night and he was married, he blanked her and like he's married for three years. This girl thought she was going to start going out with him and everything. Yeah. And I think like they all can't be that bad. So I think there's one staring at Yeah. If it was definitely. for me, I would never put a fella up there because I know I'd get bad news and I'd look like a right fool. Yeah. You don't know these yeah, people. They're no, strangers. I yeah, yeah. But I do think guys and girls both play games. They do. But this love bombing thing, I tell you, we'll just we'll do more on it in the next pod. I just want to hear other people's experiences. But you know what? When I was saying to you, feck, will I tell the listeners that he goes to me? You know, I'm like going to go the whole hog. Whatever happens here now, I started to tell it, good or bad. If he goes to me or like if he blocks me, I will fill it in here. And it's very normal. Like I'd love for other girls to be listening to us yeah. and I'd be like, oh my God, I got ghosted last week or last month or whatever yeah. it was. It's actually normal. Like it's not just me. Do you no, know? it's not just You're you. not the only ugly bitch. There's another two yeah. ugly bitches here as well. Tune, tune, jump flip. What What about the other fella? Which, See, this is gas. People are going to be like, they're not oh. names. My fella's the actor anyway. That's but all I want I was about. calling my fella, me fella. Oh yeah. And him? Him, me fella. So I was calling me fella on the podcast and on my stories. So I'm calling me fella. I was like, he'll never find me. I haven't blocked. Nah, he won't find me. No, me fella. Oh, look, me fella just texts me there. And then oh. on Sasha night, I was out and he came up to me and he was like, Julie, I know you're talking about me across all your social media platforms and your podcast. And not only that, oh. but you're calling me, oh, no. me fella. I was like, oh, not on the pod, not on the pod. Oh, everything. Uh, TikTok, Instagram, podcast. And I've been blocked from everything. Not podcast because I know how to do that. But uh, Siobhan, mate, you'd have to block him. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that the Saturday night you were wearing that green top and the jeans? I was wearing an orange blazer, was I? Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sexy yeah. Bitch. yeah. The sexy Out. bra. Oh, the sexy bra and all. Yeah. Out for the kill. And next thing your mom's like, I know you're talking about me and all your social media platforms and you're calling me, me fella. Like, we're, we weren't even, we didn't even kiss at that stage. I was going to say, have you done anything? Not at that stage. And here I am, me fella, texting me. <laughs> oh. and your mom watching me. Like, I mean, like, come Who's Whose account? No idea. His, so he was telling the lads. Because I, I was like, so how do you know I have an Instagram account? How do you know I have a TikTok account? And he was like, oh, I was telling the lads I was texting this girl. He said Julie and he said twins. And the lads' girlfriends are with him in oh, the group. Oh, my God. And they're Julie course, twins. Like, just yeah, hung me out to dry. Oh, uh, come here. You didn't tell me if what something happened. Where? What happened, like, did he? Did he drop the hand leg? <laughs> Did you get more than me, like? Come here, we're like a load of teenagers. I know. I'm like, like oh. I'm, sure I'm like a nun. 
Uh, <laughs> your legs Take and, Virgin Mary here. Yeah. yeah, but the, you know what? Now, it's the drink. I know I shouldn't be like promoting drink, but like, yeah. it gives me so much confidence. Oh, yeah. Oh, like I said, that's how I conceived twins because I was after two <laughs> bottles of wine and I was swinging from <laughs> the lampshade. If I was sober, I would, oh. I'd be like a plank. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Well, oh. Oh, as someone who doesn't drink, then I have to go through all that. Which oh, I don't know how you do that. For the head. Oh my God! Should we talk about like with the lights on and all that? Carry on. Oh, so I'm even I drunk. Know. I'm lights off. I know. And the next morning, I'm nearly like oh. closed, I'm nearly blindfolded yeah. with the lights off. Yeah. I do not look. The next morning's at me. even worse. Oh, my. even worse. I'm not going to ask too much, but you, you've shifted, which we will explain for other listeners because UK yeah. listeners don't know what shift is. It means snog. I don't like using the word snog. I don't, I don't even like the word shifted. I always say shift. It's a pure country thing. Yeah, it's a mall. What do they say here? Mall. They meet. Yeah. Meet. 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 Yeah, I was used meet. to meeting. As well, anyway, years ago. You, did you did you put your tongue down a throat? Yeah, it's probably like a washing machine. Where was that? Down. Was that out or were you back at the house? Oh, is that it? Like That's a 14 year old. Right? Was that with the orange jacket? Yeah. And what about that green top? Your what profile green picture. What they wearing? Do you know oh, what that I... that one? Oh, yeah. What room? happened in that top? Oh, come here. Something friend. happened in that top. A friend I rang me, she said, Julie, your <laughs> WhatsApp picture is beautiful. I was like, Brenda, I'm so fucking <laughs> yeah. desperate now. I'm after changing every single one of my profile pictures. I'm out nearly every week. Yeah, no. I'll get dressed up and take nice pictures and maybe, just maybe, then I'll get a fella. I knew by your WhatsApp picture because I did the same with mine. I have a picture from a year ago where I've like nearly abs and everything. Mm-hmm. That's If your man comes near me, the actor that way, he'll be like, what's going on here? Oh, Wait till he sees the top off because they're they're not there. Oh, pure There's only flab there. But anyway, so. I you are stunning I come here No but I'm not like I don't look like that I don't look like that I But know. I changed it as well Do you know I changed it as well But I was like this morning Will I change the old picture there now Because I am kind of a catfish If I meet any prospective fellas I Rock, we're, all, we're all the same girl. You know, we're but all... anyway, uh, speaking of fitness and all that kind of stuff, I'm very proud of myself because I'm up since three, right? Yeah. Three. But like when I went into Marks and Spencer down Grafton Street to get new tights because of the ladder and the tights and, a, and an umbrella, uh, I was I saw the Percy Pigs and I was like, oh my God, I have to go off them. But I'm not on a diet, but I'm trying to do like a plan B to get back yeah. into that kind of a ship. I just got like cooked chicken in, like from the fridge. But I'm delighted that I'm after getting on to a lovely girl Sinead O'Regan she's um, the physio for the Cork Ladies team and she follows me on Instagram and stuff pure sound so she's doing the London Marathon did I do that I don't think you never really talk about you I know yeah yeah yeah. yeah. that did you just did two (laughs) wait no you never trained for the second one don't say the third one don't say (laughs) (laughs) that's all I didn't train for the second one I did it I got up with a great mindset and I did it go on Brenda I know that usually the line is I actually ran out faster than the first one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah, 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 yeah. I love saying that. And I love when people go, oh my God, I'm like, yeah, no training up. But that's fucking true. Could have killed myself after I taught. Mm. But anyway, she's going to train me for my marathon later in the year, which I haven't said what one is. Probably no one gives a shit, but anyway. And then the other night, you know what? I don't like the word diet and all this kind of stuff. I don't, I want to find kind of like, oh, you can't have this, you can't have that. It just, no. I was getting like these irrational thoughts. Like, will I go back to the keto diet and all oh. that? And like, but like, no. So I got on to Sinead and she has these amazing classes and stuff. And I'm still doing the Jamando as well. But I said, do you know what, Sinead, you need to tell me what class I need to be doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Because, you know, there's a structure in yeah. that, yeah. which you know. But I was telling her then, I said, will you just be someone that I can be accountable to and message? Because like my old trainer fella. I'm not going to say his name, but he's really good looking, right? And I just couldn't send him the pictures of me. Oh, sure. I the brand that doesn't anymore. I, uh, I only said to come up in the car. I was like, <laughs> oh, and... <laughs> Oh, and wait, did I tell you this? So we're talking about like that now diets and stuff because we stopped in Circle K and we were getting something to eat and I was yeah. scanning the food with my fitness pal. Yes. Like, That's 400 calories. I'll get something else yeah. lower or whatever. And I was like, how are we getting on with the diet? And I'm going to this fella. Well, I'm not going to him. It's kind of more online or whatever. Yeah. So he texted me the other day and was like, Julie, I want to see pictures of you just in your sports brand leggings or sports... <sighs> Uh, <laughs> I was like I don't need them at all I just stand on the way the scales when I go off I was like no you could really see it in a woman you know pictures yeah. before and after I just send him a picture and it was oh, me and no. my sports bra and my leggings my, oh, no. Uh, no. Well, I, I couldn't dax him back no. the whole day I was absolutely oh. purple yeah purple I totally raw. get it raw. but come here the fella that I have makes me little shorts little shorts you're wearing little shorts or little he is Nike shorts no he wouldn't be sending me anything like that he's married <gasps> 
br- he's a brilliant trainer. If he hears this, then yes, I do think you're good looking, Eric. All right. Yeah. He'll know anyway. Yeah. And I like I said it to Sinead. I go, Sinead, I can't because he's too good looking and it's just a bit uncomfortable, you know. Yeah. But I wasn't even trying to be sexy or anything. I was just being me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like after, but you know, kind of maybe look a bit better. Don't put on the makeup. And I was like, no, no, you're not going down that road. No, yeah. right. He's married yeah. and yeah. all this kind of stuff. But I said, like, I can't go back because it's just even when I I actually when I was home I went to him once or twice and he was doing the, like I had to take off my top in front of him inside oh, in the office and he didn't well, give a shit but they, like so they're used to it or like when they, they, used they, to I have it. to grab onto your stomach there for the yeah, body fat the capillars <gasps> I'm like which stomach the capillar into the capillar they use that what it's called the capillar and he'd be pinching me yeah. I'm like oh my god <gasps> yeah and you think all oh, they're thinking this dark, like, yeah like oh my god stay off the back down of her. Really, yeah, I know but they don't yeah. so they're used no. to it it's like midwives that's you know, it they're so used to her who that's has it like it's like a nurse my sister said like she'd seen so many mickeys or whatever cleaning them caring for people you know, you and just you don't, don't care. And you but I'm standing there and I I'm know. absolutely tears in my eyes like purple. And so are, you, are you sticking with him? Yeah, he's so good now. So I am, I am going to stick with him. He's just have to give me a diet plan and just like workouts from, to go to the gym and do work. Oh. Another thing, can't do, can't do it. It's so embarrassed. Jewel. Nobody's looking at us, but I'm in there. Nobody. Up Scotland, the whole place do not know how yeah. to work. The only thing I do in the gym is go in, stand on my little pre- treadmill, press start and walk. Yeah. And yeah. I don't even like doing incline or anything because I'm embarrassed. I totally get it. I was the exact same when I moved over to London last year because yeah. like a personal trainer there is like, oh my God, it's like 60, 70 pounds an hour. Yeah. Or half an hour. Mm. And I actually was only thinking about it the first place. I moved to some fecker. He was like, oh, I'll give you a free session. Do you know the way? Yeah, and I was like, yeah. oh no, I'm fine. I'll give you a free session. I remember he was rubbing off me an awful lot. Yeah. And I mean, inappropriately, yeah. after I came out going, he weren't, that wasn't an exercise. That I was kind of like, that was him fucking feeling what? me up. I told the lads I was staying with and I goes, he was fucking rubbing off me. Yeah. Right. And then I went back in there and I was like, oh my God, he's rubbing off her today. There's a gang of us that he's rubbing off. And I couldn't look at him straight and I wouldn't, I wouldn't go in there anymore. Yeah. I was like, you're sick. Yeah. I know what you're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm doing it on my own. Sinead now, it'll be all Sinead now by me. She, I will do her classes and all that. You stuck to it or you don't? Yeah, no, I am. I'm doing a couple of pounds now. Good, right? good, yeah, good. Yeah, That's yeah. nothing better than that. Oh, it's great. I and know. I can feel it in my clothes. There's nothing better. Oh, nothing feel better. feel it in your clothes. I know. I went into Zara yesterday in London now and I'll be like very honest. I have the side of my shorts open here and I'll just leave me breathe a small bit. <laughs> yeah. But I felt rotten coming me out. Usually when I feel really bad in my clothes it makes you want to binge. Yeah, I know I get you're feeling sorry for yourself. I'm the same. I'm the same. You I know? feel sorry for myself. I'm like, yeah. I might as well carry on eating anyways because yeah. I'm not losing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I would be the very, very same. But actually, do you ever do this? And I do this now and I think it doesn't count. No, I used to do this mad when I lived in Mount Oval with a fella. But um, hi Dave, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever want to live with me again to carry on. <laughs> eating half asleep. I did it last night, right? I'm actually reading a book called The Chimp Paradox. Does anyone read it? It's really good, actually. It's between, you know, the kind of evil part of your brain. You're like, no, 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 you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing that. And you do it. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, if you were like, no, 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 don't sleep with him. Don't sleep with him. And you often do it. That's the chimp doing it. And then the human is like the person going, no, you shouldn't have done that. So anyway, last night I was like, brushed the teeth now. And like, I was up at three o'clock, right? I didn't have to be up that time, but whatever. And I had my Tesco delivery that had just came. And like, I had no chocolate. So I'm kind of depending on chocolate rice cakes. So they were in the fridge. But like, I got up to go to the toilet like 90 times a night because I drink four litres of water a day. yeah. And then I was like, started eating them half asleep. You know what what I mean? what time? Three o'clock in the morning? No, it's around half one. And then it was like... Sure, it doesn't matter, you're asleep. I used to be lethal for doing that and I used to be eating all of this day fellas muesli. Yeah. And I'd have it eaten and I used yeah. to be outside Tesco at seven o'clock in the morning, <laughs> put it back before he'd wake up because all his fucking muesli was gone. All his muesli was gone. Yeah. Is anyone else eating their sleep? And they're like, well, that doesn't no, count. No, oh, when I'm drunk, yeah, I, I do. When I'm like, oh, count, yeah, I'm like, I'm drunk. so I didn't put them on my fitness pal. So I oh, just, yeah, I do no. that. I no no no. I, I just I don't I don't do it. I don't do it. Yeah. Or if so. nobody sees, it doesn't count either. Yeah, no one sees it. Yeah. 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 So yeah. And I still didn't get my toilet fixed. I should have rang my landlord today. But the last time I told him, my toilet is dodgy and it's not for me going to the toilet too much, right? Yes, I'll come down. I'm just going to stay there now. Silly conversation to have. And. Um, <laughs> He kind of has an issue. Like, I think he kind of said to me, the next time this happens, you're going to have to pay for it. And then the lad he brings over is really young and good looking. And he's good looking. And 
all the things you want them going down looking at. Oh, my lad came last week like that. Now I had a problem with my toilet. It wasn't flush. So it was flushing. The water was going down, but it was coming back up. Yeah. And nearly over. And then was it going down it was again? Going down, but not same all the ways down. Yeah. So there was might be a blockage somewhere. So I was like, "Feck it, I have to get a plumber in." But I wouldn't even call on my landlord because I don't want to draw him on me. No. So, anyways, I was looking up plumbers on Facebook, and I was like, "I can't get a young fella. I can't get a look no. good-looking young fella. No way." Yeah. So I stalked all the plumbers first. <laughs> so. <laughs> As you fucking do. So anyways, I got on to this fella and he was like, Julie, he was like, girl, we don't do anything like that. You're going to have to call this company called Dino Rod. So they like blast the toilet. Oh, like, yes. you know, and go down the good shores. Lash. Yeah, give it a good lash and go down to the man shores and everything. I was like, I'll get them. No bothers. This company is all over Munster or whatever. So I was like, this fella now could be out in like uh, Clannacilty or somewhere like that. He won't know me. So yeah. hang him anyways. Oh, I'm running card lane myself, girl. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, of course you are. So it, down he came and went, he'd put cameras down the toilet. Oh, nah, no. No, nah, I was going to tell him, I don't <laughs> live here. I'm I, actually landlord. Then I was like, no, I can't. It actually won't fucking believe me. So I was like, and who were the two kids? It's the kids. It's the kids. That's them now. The kids. The five-year-olds got to blame for everything. I couldn't. Absolutely perfect. Oh, and what was it? You know the thing you put on your toilet, the flash. You know, when you flush, then the blue thing comes out. Yeah, that went nice down. Bend. That went down, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I was like, it's probably one of the kids. And he was like, why did you keep blaming Would them? Kids. You live here too. Do not use this toilet. I was like, no. <laughs> well, at least you got yours sorted. Yeah. So obviously I'm going to have to get them on. But again, I don't want the young fella coming over. And it, it is too much toilet paper because they were putting on me as in like sanitary towel or something. Yeah. I was like, I don't use them. What yeah. You know, I'd go, well, I don't use them. You know, I'm yeah. telling about my fucking period. I know. It's so embarrassed. That's what he asked me. So he was oh, like, what play is your toilet oh, roll? No. I had, I yeah. my, I don't know what my toilet roll is. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Oh my God. That was, my fion wanted an analogy. I was oh like, we God. actually use Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> As if things could get fucking worse. That probably clogging it as oh, well. He was like, it's too thick. He was yeah. Like, so anyways, an FYI, get to play, he said. Right, to yeah. play. And another girl told me, if your toilet blocks again, get a mop, wrap that around in a plastic bag and use it as a plunger and it will get out whatever is stuck. Yes, I might try that. Yeah, try that now. Okay. Now. Yeah, yeah. Tell you DIY, yeah. DIY SOS. Speaking of DIY SOS, the Late Late Show, I think that Baz Ashwami, right, would be a great presenter. You don't even know who he I is. I don't even know who he You were saying that earlier. Ah, uh, you know Baz. He used to do, what was it again? 50 Ways to Kill Your Mammy, wasn't it? I fucking have to watch that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do. I know you him. Know, I know him. I see you know Baz. Just me a picture he was, now. Yeah. He works on DIY. He's SOS. actually handsome. He's I love you? a man with grey hair. Yeah, but he's, he's no, he's nice. Hiya, Baz, if you're listening. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think he'd be fab. Or for any of the, we'll say the listeners over in London or the UK, there's this big talk show. It's the longest running chat show, I think, in Ireland or in Ireland. But is it the world even? I think the Late Late Show. It's like an Irish institution, the Late Late Show. It really is. You know, it's on every Friday night. And like in Ireland now, the Irish listeners, of course, will know. Um, it's a big thing. Who's going to take over from Ryan Tuberty? Who would you kind of fancy in a weird way? I'd love to see but a woman. Yeah. So I put up on my Instagram, who would you like to see do it? Yeah. And a few people who came back to me was Nikki Byrne. Why? What do you think of that? In Westlife? In Westlife? No. 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 The two Johnnies. Yeah, like them. Tommy Tiernan. Like, oh, I think Tommy Tiernan would be great at it. I think he, and I think he's very funny. Yeah. Des Bishop. Yeah. Dahi O'Shea. Mm. I just, n- no. No, why? I Not love for him. me. I do, like, it's just, no. I would just, I think he should stick to the daytime. Okay. Or else there's Marty Morrissey. No, I couldn't see Marty doing it. Yeah. I just couldn't see Marty now talking to like, a Charlize Theron or someone, could you? Uh, no. Uh, someone said you, Julie. Me? Yeah. <laughs> You'd want to... <laughs> <laughs> someone said Alan Clark. Someone said, actually, it was funny because I had to do a public apology to Alan Clark because someone messaged me saying that there was a certain Irish celebrity and podcaster and they were an awful P-R-I-C-K, right? And I didn't put up their name, whatever. And I just, I hid it, whatever. And then people went around telling poor Alan Clark from Facebook and TikTok that it was him. They were like, oh, street angel, house prick, they said. And then there was people rising Alan thinking it was, I put up that about Alan. If it had been Alan, I would never put up something like that. And you would have said it like. I wouldn't have put that up. It was actually yeah. someone else completely who I'll tell you off air. I'll, I'll, I'll mode it there. No. Okay, I won't say who it is. Um, <laughs> I understand her. The best of times yeah, are country fucking accent. Claire Byrne, who is hot. 
at the moment not, not hot now but she'll she's, she's by the time this podcast is out she'll probably be it do you think so yeah I think so and then this is one more for me and I think she'd be very good she's really talented Darren Garrahy yeah that's actually the one I was going to say there as well I'm yeah. mad about her yeah no she's really good I got a couple as well the only one different was Sinead Kennedy or Lucy Kennedy I love Lucy Kennedy I love living so with Lucy as sound. well yeah that she'd be a good one as well and she's really sound in real life is she? Did you she, meet her? Yeah, yeah. I met her at uh, two awards just and she was just... I met her at the Gossies, the very first ones, I think, yeah. years ago, but no one really knew what it was. Yeah. And she was just dead on. And then I met her at the Radio Imro Awards. Okay. And again, she was sound. And then Carol Mullen, which I think the whole country's I fallen in love, love with. I love him. Love yeah. him. My mom loves him. I just think everyone loves him, no matter what age yeah. you are. I think he's good crack. Oh, yeah. I was, I was delighted he won Dance on the Stars, but I never actually watched it. I was watching bits, all right. Yeah, yeah. I never watched it. But I was delighted from him because he seemed... And I, people got so irate over it. Like, as in, you wasn't the best dancer, I wasn't the best dancer. Oh, sure, you can't fucking win, fuck off. But sure. I mean, I'd love to do that, would you? You wouldn't even go on first dates. I know, but that's different, but I dance my... You're, are you, are you here off. declaring you want to go on... I'm hinting <laughs> I want to go on... I did one for... Did you ever do it like a one for in the community? I did judging. I, did, judging I actually dance. did one with Ken O'Flynn and the absolute state... I didn't even learn the dance properly. Like, we just did our it's own just thing. It's cracked, though. But it was deadly. We did it with Glen Rovers. We had... I didn't laugh as much at myself. Yeah. We were shocking. Shocking. Yeah. Okay, they're my favourite, the yeah, bad Yeah, we ones. were an absolute joke. Do you joke. remember the episode with Dance with the Stars, Marty Party, and he was... God love Yeah I remember but he was my favourite that's, that's it there's all, It's the same as Strictly Come Dancing yeah. on BBC There's always one joke act And they're just the funniest yeah. I love the bad Yeah yeah no, like I think them. they're the funniest Don't give me the professional yeah. They're boring Like they're lovely to watch Don't get me wrong but Yeah I, I was delighted for ones. Carl And I know people put in the effort And all this And then people are like Oh did you see your man's face And all this You know whatever oh, you can't Anyway wait. that gets me on to as well I was thinking about famous people You've met You've surely met someone famous Um, I did Oh come do you know what? Who I met actually, I was thinking coming up in the car. I met all of Westlife after a concert oh, in yeah. Lennox's in Cork. Stop. You'll probably know Lennox, it's right around those eyes as well. So, Lennox's is a real famous Cork chipper. So, I went to what's the name of the place in Cork? Mill Street, is it? Mill Street, yeah, is down on Mill Street. That's near me. Is that, it was, would the concerts be on the Mill Street? Yeah, yeah. In Glens. So, I went there, watched Westlife there, came back to the city, and I'm from Greenmount or Tolka area. So went to Lennox's with all oh, my Westlife, like cowboy hat, my Westlife scarf, everything Westlife. And do you know what I was wearing? This is how long ago it was. Remember years ago we used to wear those belts with the circles? Yeah. I wore yeah. that belt. Oh I my God. I wore that belt. I was in Lennox's and heard all the Westlife were standing in front of Oh my God. Yes, that's gas. The... That's huge. So lovely. So, and they were huge. Like, they're still huge, but they were yeah. mega back then. Like, wow. Mega, mega. That's yeah. brilliant. So I, lovely. The only ones that I've met really, no, I've met a lot and I, I'm not going to, you probably know you're going to look at me and go oh gosh you've notions I've met a lot of people who work in UK television yeah, now with work you know what I mean yeah, yeah. so I'm not really going to count them so and I meet them most days but I don't ever see them as kind of celebrities or anything like that anymore you yeah. know but the one that I met and he did not like me at all or my friend no I was after a few jars it was we'd been drinking all through the time zones not even day Um, was Jimmy Carr at LAX this was maybe 15, 16 years ago yeah. me and my friend Lisa getting our baggage and we landed in Los Angeles and we'd been drinking from Dublin to Toronto changed there four hours in Toronto pissed Yeah. Um, smoked a fag even inside the toilet inside the oh, airport the n- absolute yeah. Like what was ribbons, I? Like, what yeah. was I thinking? And then landed at LAX. Jimmy Carr had absolutely zero time for us. So I was like, he's a prick, and I still look at him now. I'm like, you're a prick. So that's only who I've met. I met a lot of Man United players because my dad used to take us to see Man United when we were younger. So like David Beckham, Roy Keane, all of that era. Yeah. Anyone else I've kind of met after that? No, not really. But I I ask people on Instagram people that they had met and I'm delighted to see this because I am a fan Phil I'm a, f- a guy that I'm actually friends with he said sound a celeb I've ever worked with was Piers Morgan totally professional and sound now I know he comes across as a bit of a but he, he gets a job done he gets a job done and he job. loves Irish people Piers yeah another one came in here Alf Stewart love Alf I've Stewart. heard that as well oh so nice because he'd been to Ireland a couple of times hasn't there's he? a fucking um, painting of him Isn't in it? you know the way they've painted the fuse boxes in Cork I thought it was um, Christy Ring. <laughs> and it was Alf Stewart. I was there. That's Christy Ring because he's got a car curly. Yeah. People were like, that's Alf Stewart. I was like, why would Alf Stewart no, be on the fuse he, box? Yeah. Do you know the art? With a Hurley. I'm telling you, go check it out near the Coliseum. Yeah. What Coliseum? Leisureplex. 
Yeah, Coliseum. <laughs> Never. Come on, what? Flags. So I went after my Debs. Isn't that what people do? No, Leisure Flags. Yeah, Leisure Flags. We all go oh, to Leisure Flags. Oh, Jesus, where are we going now again? Coliseum's over in Rome. Coliseum. It's <laughs> called the Coliseum, isn't it? Le- leisure Flags. Well, to us, it was Coliseum, so it was a big thing, right? I love this yeah. one, right? Met Pitbull and he was lovely, but absolutely tiny. Oh, no way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a, He's well, a singer, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, 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 Pitbull. Alan Carr was sound, someone says, don't think I met anyone else. Alan Carr is hilarious. Um, no. Another one. I met Ronan Keaton at a One Direction concert and he was chatting away to us. Lovely, lovely guy. Oh, I've met him too, yeah. Yeah. Another one, I met Ben Affleck. I would die if yeah. I met him. He's handsome. He, she met him in Boston and uh, the lovely guy, she said. Fab. This one, Julia Roberts. She was staying with a friend who was married to one of bandmates members of U2. She called me and asked to join them in Lily's nightclub. That's in Dublin. She was unreal and very friendly. I was never starstruck in my life. Her smile and laugh, I felt I was dreaming. She does come across really nice. Mm, yeah. Who else is there? Niall Horan and Paris Brosnan. She doesn't say if they were nice or not. So, Saoirse Ronan. Victoria Beckham. Oh, years is she ago, nice? Jen says, this, uh... She was unbelievably so lovely. Even sang a song for us. Ah, go away with that. I think yeah. she looks lovely. No, she looks cross. What I mean saying, she does have this like rest and yes. bitch face. She's meant but to be fabulous. Ma- I wish no till we hear what this one says. I met Julie from Twins and Me. What a nasty fucking thing. Oh my God. You know what? Who, that's a troll. Am I nasty? No. <laughs> That's a certain person. Anything I put up, they were attacking me, but I left them there. I, I didn't know. want to block oh, you, them you straight them away. The crack. No, they said something really bad to me as well, and I still didn't block them, but I'm going to be doing it now after this. Yeah. It's a made up page anyway. Oh, come here. Sure. Right. Der- Mick Dermot Bannon, the airport, was actually weak, was so fan struck. I even called him Ryan Tuberty, someone mm-hmm. says. Oh, this is interesting. Jude Lawn, Sienna Miller, both so nice, took photos with me. He said, Enjoy London, darling. Aileen said that. Ah, very good. And then someone else said here, Westlife years and years ago at the point, Shane Marks, lovely. The other three weren't as friendly. I suppose as well, like, you know, it, it would get a small bit pissed off and a lot Wouldn't of people. You? You would, you get people would. coming up to you. I do, but I don't mind it. Like, I, I only get a couple, a handful on a night out, but sure, they must have a queue yes. the length of the liffy there outside, you know? Yeah, and yeah. I suppose you would if you're out to enjoy your night, you know, and I get that. But, um... Yeah, so they're the celebrities. Yeah, so I'll just give you one more. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he looked ancient, someone says. And I love this one. Killian Murphy's local shop is where I work an absolute gent. Met him several times. Mm. I love Killian Murphy. Yeah, I do as well. I and it's well. funny because there's some people mentioned here a lot of the times. And like people... Like people you think that are really sound, not sound. Not sound. But you'd wonder, did they just catch him in a bad moment? Uh, ah, yeah, not sound. Yeah. Yeah, I love this one. Now it's my last one. Wayne from Fair City. Stop, girl. He was amazing. Which one is Wayne again? Isn't he in the shop? Malise. Okay, yeah. You know, I actually can't believe. I don't watch Home and Away anymore. There's a girl I work with and she's Australian. We were chatting about Home and Away and she brought up a picture and I couldn't believe it. Irene, I think, is still in it. Yeah, remember and can we talk about Aussie programs? Neighbours is coming back. Apparently, Amazon Neighbours. bought that. Is that true? Yeah, there's um, what you call it, a guy who I know. He used to be the series editor of Loose Women, Tom Sage. Yeah, he's actually after quitting Loose Women and he's gone to Australia to work in it. Unreal. Living a dream. He only left Loose Women last week. Oh, so he's out there like he's producing gone it or producing whatever. It. Like, yeah, yeah, he's gone producing it. Yeah. Brilliant Because I, I don't know Anyone that watches Neighbours anymore No 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 so I'm kind very of, surprised It's now. kind of a daytime thing Isn't it Yeah it's on it, It's the home ways as well But that's on lunchtime But then again It's on it used to be on a half Six after Exposure Remember those Yeah ones? I used to watch um, Home and Away twice Before I used Would to watch, you Yes I watched it at half one And then come on again At half six And remember it wouldn't be on then Because there'd be races Or something yeah, And you'd miss it Or a match or something So annoyed Yeah, yeah. And a God on my yeah. On the box Yeah Happy days Happy, happy days, days. Happy days Okay, so on that note, we will say goodbye and we will back again this time next week. So from me, Julie Haynes, thanks so much for listening. And me, Brenda Dennehy, it's been a pleasure and it hasn't the whole episode just been a joy. Oh, and it just went so fast. Start of a new chapter. On top of the world, on top of the world. Yeah. Thank you, Thank- everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.